Welcome guys, as you can see, we're here in New York, Bev's gym, world-class gym, and we are two weeks out from the 2024 Men's Physique Mr. Olympia, and I'm going for that two-peat. So today, we're gonna head in, we're gonna hit an upper body weighted circuit, so let's go.
So I was just saying, looking at this poster, it looks really old in Bev's gym. And it's actually not, but it is old, it's 10 years old. 2014 Mr. Olympia, which was my first ever Olympia, which I attended. I competed in 2015 for the first time. In 2014, it was the 50th anniversary. It's the 60th anniversary this year. And I remember turning pro and I wanted to go and see my competition, visualize where I wanted to be in the next stage of my career. And after pre-judging, when it all died off at the extra, I stood on that stage. And I took a like a, what's the word? I set out to the world on YouTube, out to the audience. Nobody's in the audience, but I was gonna stand on that stage a year from now. I said place top five, and I, I came fourth my first Olympian. So that poster brings back so many memories. It's not the good memories, the early days, the simpler days. But it was like the start of my Olympia journey. And now we're 10 years on, I am Miss Olympia, and I'm gonna retain that title this year. It's mad. Crazy. Let's go.
So guys, as you know, we're here in Bev's gym, which is known as the best gym in the world, and I 100% would say that as well. Whenever you step foot in this gym, the amount of history here, the smell, the sweat, just everything, the clanging of the waist, just incredible. And I, you can't have a bad workout here, even when you're on zero carbs, a week out from a show, and you're, you're on your arse. You still have that motivation to keep grinding and pushing, so that's why, until I retire, I'll be here for the last three, four weeks of my elite with Brett. But, you know you're doing well in life. Eat best gym, like I say, best gym in the world, and you make it to the ladies' toilets. Not in the men's work, in the ladies' toilets. Let's go. Now that's motivation right there. We've got another one on the wall, which is pretty amazing to say the other side of the world. I've got two uh, pictures of the most iconic of the world. So uh, yeah, this was when I won the New York Pro uh, last May, so a year and a half ago. I won that, and then obviously winning the Olympia was uh, the other one. So well, I feel very fortunate. I actually signed one yesterday as well, so I don't know where that's going to go. But um, whenever I see this, I do cardio here every morning at like 4.30 more than two hours. <laughs> Crazy got yeah. out. I always look at this just if I'm starting to slack off a little bit and kind of not got the motivation, I'm tired and I'm not putting my all into that session. You just look at that, you realise why you're doing it, what the end goal is, and then it always fires me up, keeps me motivated. I'm away from family, which is, uh, is hard. I'm away from my four year old and my one year old and my wife, so that's when I start thinking about those things. Do that. Put me up in another gear. Right, guys, so. That is a wrap. Uh, we are officially two weeks out from the Olympia. When this comes out, we'll probably be 10 days out, something like that, depending on how fast my man gets it done. <laughs> no pressure. Um, but yeah, what today consisted of was an upper body weighted circuit. And the reason for that was I'm nearly at stage weight. I'm 203 pounds faster this morning, and my stage weight is 202 pounds. And I'm having a big refeed day today. So I wanted to deplete all my glycogen and get everything out of my, my body and just see where we're at, fully pumped or as much as I can at my stage weight. Um, and then we can obviously fill back up. The reason I'm having a refeed now is because my body is starting to shut down. And I kinda, because I prep myself, I know the signs, I've been doing it for quite a long time now. And I feel like my, my leptin levels need rebooting, my immune system, I'm starting to get run down and my metabolism's starting to fight me. I'm lethargic, I'm tired. And that's all part and parcel of, of being in prep. But there comes a point where you're gonna be detrimental to your physique and you're gonna start eating into muscle, going catabolic if you don't listen to it. So 
I'm two weeks out, I've got enough time to have a big refeed today and then obviously go again and hopefully that'll reboot things. Um, but I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Um, being out here at Bev's Gym is, is like mixed emotions. You've got one where, I don't know if you saw, but I've just been speaking to my family and, and I really, really, really miss my family. I always vowed that when I became a dad, I'd, I'd never spend the time away from my kids and stuff, but it is my work and, and it has to be done. So I do struggle when I'm not around them and not with them. But then on the flip side of it, if I want to be the best in the world, you have to be in the best place in the world, the best environment in the world. And me being at home with five businesses and a family man isn't optimal in being the best in the world as a bodybuilder. So I came out here uh, with three weeks to go. I've been here a week and my body has changed so much. I've dropped probably five, six pounds, but my composition looks so much more healthier and more rested. Um, and you just, you can't buy that. And, and being here is, is key to me winning this second title. Seeing that poster just like literally floods of emotion came back because I was just remembering all the years since then and like 10 years has just gone, like a decade's gone so quick. And it's mad to think we're at the 60th now, that was the 50th, we're at the 60th and I'm actually going in as the current champion to defend my title, which is just mind blowing. And this year has gone so fast. And if I'm honest, everyone says, what does this title mean to the second title? This title means twice as much as the first one. And the reason I say that is because last year, my, you probably know this if you follow me on social media, but my intention was to retire last year at the Olympia. Not because I wanted to, not because I was old or finished or had enough of bodybuilding, just because I'm somebody who is not, doesn't like to make the numbers up. He, he knows he, he has to have a chance of winning. And placing seventh the year before when I was at my very best, just indicate to me I'm not what the division's looking for anymore and they're going in a different direction. And I didn't want to put my family through me keep turning up, just placing top 10 in the world. That's just not me as a competitor. So because of that, I sat down with my family, sat down with my wife last year and we um, put a plan together on the next steps of my career, which was building a gym, setting up other businesses and really focusing on family life. So we had a second child. Uh, I built a 20,000 square foot gym with a restaurant, Barbers in there, salons, recovery suites, everything you can imagine. And then we went and won the Olympia, <laughs> which was crazy from seventh to first place, which was an amazing achievement. But at the same time, because I had so much going on in my other life, I didn't really have time to celebrate it or even make the most of that title. I had all these aspirations of what I was going to do with the title when I won it. And I never did anything with it. And I'm disappointed in myself for that. So I vowed to myself this year, when I win it, I'm not speaking from lack anymore, hopefully we'll win it. When I win it, I'm gonna immerse myself in being Men's Physique Mr. Olympia. Be on the scene more, do productive things with that title and enjoy it, enjoy being number one in the world and raise a glass to it. I never even celebrate with my family. Two days after the last Olympia, I was on a plane, landed, and within a few hours of landing in the UK, I was in a skip on a construction site in the gym trying to get it finished before we opened the doors in January. So it was crazy to think what I did. And I, I'm determined so much. I've got all my family out here this year. I've got friends, close people around me, an amazing team. And I'm determined Saturday night, all day Sunday, Monday, we're gonna be celebrating in Vegas.